What are you looking at? All the good guys over at AHP sent me a new machine to play with. This is their new Alpha TIG 201 XD. And there's been a few upgrades to it. And they wanted me to talk about them. So a few of the changes that you notice right off the bat is well, this little clear shield that they have in front of the control panel that normally just snaps off right there because the pivot wasn't designed quite right. Well, this has all been redesigned now. It's much, much stronger. So that helps keep your control panel clean. That's a nice thing, especially when you make dirt for a living. Another good change, really, really nice change. Like, thank you guys, I appreciate this one. Nice uh, super flex cable for the, t you know, for the TIG torch. They redesigned the torch head so now you've got a variable, you know, a swivel in here. So you can have that at any angle you want. You know, you're, you're welding back behind something, you're, you know, overhead. I mean, whatever you want to do with it. Really, really nice design. Easy to, easy to work the knob on it. You know, it's got some nice gas or rubber O-rings in there to help seal it, keep the gas going to where it's supposed to. So cool, cool little, you know, little upgrade here. Really, really nice. So any of you guys who have one of these earlier versions of this machine, you know this is the foot pedal that came with it. And to say it has issues would be putting it kindly. Every time you push your foot down on it and let it back up again, it wants to move across the floor under your foot. So it just ends up moving around on the floor. You're, you're chasing it with your foot, trying to get it back to where it's supposed to be. Guys come up with different ideas on how to keep it still, but they uh, AHP decided, okay, we've heard you, we understand, to heck with it, out of here. So they came up with their own design. This is the new Nova foot pedal that they're now putting standard on all of these machines. Nice big wide pad for your foot to fit on. It rocks the other way, you know, the way that it's supposed to, rather than this one which goes backwards. This has got, I don't know, maybe a pound worth of foot, you know, spring pressure against it. This one feels like more like five. You know. Big, big improvement. A lot easier to keep on the floor. It sits where it's supposed to because it's got this non-skid stuff on the bottom of it, so it helps dig into the floor a little bit. Nice, guys. Really, really nice. And the other changes that have been made have all been internal. Bigger components, a little heavier components, you know, just, just to increase the durability of the machine. Not that it was bad, but they've seen enough of, uh, enough of a trend now that they're going, you know, that one little resistor, you know, if we just make that a little bit bigger, that one capacitor, make it a little stronger, it would make things better. So some internal changes, you know, some software changes inside there, just making a great machine that much better. And you may wonder, well, okay, they're seeing these trends. They know, you know, components are failing every now and again. You know, they know that things are not quite right right there. Well, how do they know? Is it from customer feedback? Or is it from the fact that the owner of the company, who's an electrical engineer and also a welder, he designs these machines and then he goes to China two weeks out of the month and literally stands there on the assembly line. He watches these machines being built and he'll take one off the end of the assembly line and he'll go over in the corner where he's got his own workbench set up over there and he'll weld with it. And he'll check them. He'll make sure they're working right, right there in the factory. That's where the quality control is coming from with these machines. This man is standing there. He goes there every, every month. He goes there and watches them being built. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, okay, is he ever gonna shut up and weld? <laughs> yeah, why not? Nice little job here. You know, a little cold when I put a little tax on it, but once it warmed up, once the metal warmed up, you know, once my foot got used to doing what it was supposed to be doing, I think it did a really, really nice job. Little bobble right there, but that's the operator, not the machine. 
But what I really like was this torch. This is, this is really, really a great improvement because what I found was instead of having to be in front of the metal, because that's the way the head was fading, you know, that's the way the head is fixed, so your, ha your hand is up there with the heat, with the heat radiating off of the metal, this way I could angle that head kind of back just a little bit and I can actually get behind the metal and weld this way. So all the heat's out here, so my fingers aren't getting hot. That's, that's really a cool little design. And just from the safety side of things, now you guys got to remember, so this joint right here, where the torch head goes onto the body of the torch, you got to remember, there's an electrical connection in there, as well as gas. So don't move this as you're welding while you're welding while you've got power going through it don't leave it so loose that you could like bump it with your finger to change the angle or something because you'll get arcing inside there it's adjust it weld stop readjust it weld stop you know that way you, you know keep the life or you know, improve the longevity of this as much as possible if you move it while you're welding sparky sparky all of a sudden it stops working all together so that's just a quick little look at this new AHP Alpha TIG 201 XD. You know, if you're thinking about buying a TIG, well, they're right there around $1,000, I think. Very, very affordable, guys. You know, it's a nice little machine. So I do appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for me, and I'll see you all next time. <sighs> what am I talking about?